So this is my review on the Augustine Farms uh, emergency food supply bucket. It's a four gallon bucket and uh, sometimes it's called the 72 hour kit. Uh, basically a family of four for 72 hours or um, a single person for 12 days it is basically how they, they do a meal planning situation and come to this. It's all packed in fairly heavy duty uh, plastic and then of course it packed in a bucket. So these containers are not critter proof. Okay, so if you're going to store this long term, don't take it out of the bucket. I just took it out for display purposes on the video. So if you want to see what's in a bucket, here's what it is. I, I think it's like 20 or 25 of these packets uh, that contain their planned meal uh, situation. There is no rhyme or reason uh, regarding the servings in some of these packages versus what actually makes a meal. So you, you have to go by the included uh, recipe uh, sheet that's with this. It's a meal planner. And the way the meal planner works on this, it's, it's got a couple of different meal plans depending on your level of rationing. So there is a 24-day meal planner on this, but that's, that's almost like a starvation level thing. And the 12-day uh, the one is less of a starvation level. And, and when you look at the servings on these, it's basically a lot of servings got cut in half on, on that. So, or let's say child size servings. And, and that's, that's another way to consider it. If you're talking about having one of these for every member of the family, you know, you've got some small children, probably... Uh, um, you know, I would say you want one of these buckets for every 150 pounds of person, you know, something like that. If you've got some 300 pound people in your family, you're, you're going to have to double that ration size. If you have grow, growing teenagers, you're probably, or, or people in their early 20s, I would suggest doubling the ration. Uh, if you are, uh, you know, you're talking about toddlers or something, then you probably want to look at a separate type of food for that. And there is specialized uh, long-term storage toddler food out there. So, it, and a lot of conventional baby food actually does have uh, long-term storage properties on its own. So, this is what the kit looks like. Uh, again, the packaging, a little bit more heavy-duty than, let's say, um, the Bear Creek soups, which I consider be more flavorful, more deluxe. I'll have these around the house. Not too many because I'm phasing out my uh, preps that were based on regular grocery store food. And there's some other videos on my channel which detail that. Um, this stuff here, you know, it's relatively conventional staple stuff. Uh, you know, Americana food, maple brown sugar oatmeal. Uh, one thing I notice about this is that we're seeing a Best Buy date here of 20 years out from the uh, data manufacturer. And then on the package, it says 25 years shelf life, which means that they figure that best buy date is a best buy date. That if you went a few years beyond that, uh, not the end of the world. So if you found some of these in some post-apocalyptic bunker shelter 25 years from now, it's still going to be relatively nourishing. It's just not going to be at its optimum uh, food value. Uh, one of the th reasons I'm also phasing over to this for my short and midterm survival supplies is the impossibility of transporting an actual year supply of food in a regular vehicle. Uh, I've been accumulating the number 10 can uh, meal kits out of August and Farms and then supplementing that with the uh, Mormon cannery food. And, and generally, the way it's been is the flavor stuff and the, the full soup mixes are going to be available from one of the Mormon processors as a commercial item and then basic staples you would get at the Mormon cannery like the rice, the noodles, uh, the beans, though the, the, the basic milk mix it, that, that all comes from the Mormon cannery. The soups, the dessert stuff, the like like the maple with brown sugar oatmeal, you get plain oatmeal at the Mormon cannery, but not the flavored one. Uh, so by supplementing the two, you can build up your, your one-year supply. And how much you spend on it, it kind of depends a lot on personal preference and, and some other add-ons like spices and things like that. 
and you would be expected to supplement that food supply with local forage or gardening or, or something like that. But in the short term, you still need a relatively portable food supply, and you want something where if you get into the packaging, you're not ruining a big $70, $80 serving of something uh, just to make one meal. Because the way it works with the number 10 cans, that, and even with these, your shelf life drops to 30 days as soon as the seal on that package has been broken. So by having an additional disaster supply that's not your long-term shit hit the fan stuff, it's just your, you know, if something happened for a few days, if there was a blackout or a flood or something happened for just a few days or maybe a week or two, you don't want to break into those other supplies where you're kind of obligated to do something with that within 30 days. As soon as you pop the seal on a can, go to this stuff first. And what I'm looking at is in the survival retreat situation, I'm going to have all of that stuff pre-staged somewhere. And this is what I keep at home in the city. Probably I would eventually have maybe four or five of these buckets. I'm also going to be removing most of the survival food from my camper trailer because it takes up a lot of space and I, I may or may not be able to bug out with that anyway. If I actually have a short to midterm situation, I can break into this stuff and it's not bad. And this would be something you would probably break into after you've had like, you know, a major pig out just using up everything in the fridge because it would go bad if the power is out. Um, so in this sense, it's not bad. Cost, you're looking at about... 50 to 80 dollars for the kit i understand there's a few mail order places that are at 99 dollars mm -hmm. and that includes shipping usually if you pay if you pay like the 80 or 90 dollars 100 dollars for this kit that's going to include shipping i would have difficulty justifying a full hundred dollars on the kit I, I really would i would go and check with your local walmart they uh, can sometimes order these and if you're ordering it on the shelf if you're buying it off the shelf you're probably going to get a better price than you would get uh, buying it from the uh, the mail order site. Even though they say shipping's included in the price, it's it's built into the price. I got this at Winco Foods in Portland, Oregon. They have a relatively small supply of these things, and you don't want to wait until there's an impending disaster to buy it. That supply would be snapped up in a matter of minutes if people actually felt they needed it. Uh, I would say there was less than 30 of these kits in the entire store. And we're talking about a met major metropolitan area. You, you really cannot wait until there's an impending situation to buy this stuff. You need to buy it well ahead of time. Uh, we've seen that with other kinds of purchasing panics. So that's my review of the stuff. If somebody wants to uh, understand how the, how the, the menu planning works, there's, there's an included uh, menu planner, and that's, it's actually pretty good. Make sure it stays in the bucket. I would recommend maybe buying multiples on these and breaking the seal on one to see what else is, all is in there. Maybe sample some of it. Don't break the seal on all of them. There's no reason to open that up and check it at any time after that. There's no reason for it. Uh, leave, leave the bucket sealed, I, I believe that leaving the bucket sealed is one of those keys to that extra long shelf life. These packages are heavy duty, but try to leave that bucket sealed, but pop one open, check out what you've got, and then uh, you'll have a pretty good idea of maybe what you want to go ahead and get with the number 10 cans after sampling some of the stuff, if you have not committed to buying the number 10 can large stuff anyway. Um, I would also recommend this stuff very much um, as a preference over, let's say, some people that want to have uh, cases of ramen, which I did in the past, uh, not doing now, okay? And the reason is it, that that's not critter-proof, this bucket is. And so if anyone has any questions, comments, or a follow-up video, please go ahead and post it, and we'll look forward to hearing from you.